forest. It's as if it had a mind of its own. before more of those things come for us. like the old wives knew what they were talking about. This place is dreadful. could smell so good. A good meal will definitely ease my mind about this place. But where is this place? Very close to the Withywindle Valley. But we shouldn't get any closer. Why not? The Withywindle Valley is said to be the strangest part of the whole forest. The center from which all the strangeness comes, as it were. Can you lead us around the valley, Mary? I thought I could. But the way these trees shift about, I don't know. It's, it's like they're leading us there. Mary thought he knew his way around this forest. But how can anyone find their way when the forest won't stand still? Do you know one of those trees stuck a branch out at me? Nearly tripped me, it did. I'm sorry I led us into such a dangerous place, but at least we've shaken off that black rider. Flies. I don't like this tree. I don't trust it. Hear it singing about sleep? That's not right. It's not right at all. We can't sleep yet. We must get clear of this place.
Steady there, little fellows. Where be you a-going to, eh? Puffin' like a bellows. What's the matter, then? Come now, tell me what's your trouble. My friends are caught in that willow tree. Old man, willow? I know the rhyme for him. I'll chant his marrow coal if he don't behave himself. You let them out again, old man willow. You should not be waking. Eat earth. Drink water, go to sleep, Bombadil is talking. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Very much. Well, my little fellows, you shall come to the house of Tom Bombadil. Where? Time enough for questions around the supper table. Come now, and help Tom find lilies for fair Lady Goldberry. After that, we shall sit down to a table laden with cream, honeycomb, and white bread and butter. <laughs> waiting for. The sooner we find lilies, the sooner we can eat.
Mary and Supper will be there when we are, my lad. You mind those lilies. for the fair river daughter. Come, let us go to meet her. Come, dear folk, laugh and be merry. I am Goldberry, daughter of the river. Here's my Goldberry. You are still afraid, perhaps, of mist and tree shadows. Fear nothing, for tonight you are under the roof of Tom Bombadil. Who are you? Eh, what? Don't you know my name? It's the only answer. For who are you without your name? But you are young and I am old. Eldest, that's what I am. 
Tom was here before the river and the trees. Tom remembers the first raindrop, the first big people, and the first little people. He was here before kings and barrel whites, before the elves passed westward, and before the seas were bent, before the Dark Lord came from outside. His precious ring has no power over Tom Bombadil. And now, merry friends, it is time for our supper. We ate our first good meal in a long time, singing songs and telling tales until late in the night. We slept peacefully and were refreshed enough to continue our journey. Keep to the green grass as you go, lads. Don't go meddling with old stone or prying into the houses of old dead Barrowites. Here's a song to sing should you fall into any danger. Oh, Tom Bombadil, Tom Bombadil, oh, by water, wood, and hill, by the reed and willow, oh, by fire, sun, and moon, hearken now and hear us, come, Tom Bombadil, for our need is near us. Thank you, Tom Bombadil. Speed now, fair guests, north with the wind in the left eye and a blessing on your footsteps. Make haste while the sun shines. Farewell, friends. It was a merry meeting. is cautious about this place. We are not far from the main road by my reckoning. Splendid. If we keep this pace, we'll leave the Barrow Downs by sunset tomorrow. Not soon enough for my liking. I don't trust what's hiding in the fog on the Barrow Downs. <laughs> you don't believe stories about old dead Barrow Whites. Not until today. But Tom said otherwise. Tom is the only one not affected by the ring. I wonder why. He was here before the Dark Lord came from outside. Outside what, I wonder? And whatever did he mean by eldest? And why didn't he serve bacon? Or cutlets? Or sausages? I don't like spending the night among these burial stones. They look like giant teeth coming up from the ground. If half the stories I've heard about the Barrow Downs are true, we'll need to keep a careful watch. Enough storytelling. Let's get to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 